Our headlines for you today. Police forces not acting on complaints of violence against women by officers. A new report shows no action was taken in 90% of cases in England and Wales. Scary. The fact that he's had little control of himself and then being able to go to work and get a loaded gun out and be actually walking the streets. A man has died and three people are injured after a suspected gas explosion at a house in Swansea. It's the back to work budget, says the Chancellor. Unemployment is low, but there are jobs that need filling. What's the plan to get the economically inactive back to work? I take a look. And former England rugby player Tom Youngs speaks to BBC Breakfast for the first time since his wife died from blood cancer last June. The loneliness is the probably one which, which really gets you. And you think, oh, I'll ring someone. But then, you, you know, that's, it's still not the same. Still not the same having someone there to talk to alongside you. A very good morning. Gearing up for the opening day of the Cheltenham Festival, kicking off four days of thrilling racing, the highlight of the British jump racing calendar. Good morning. It's a cold start to the day. There's a risk of ice on untreated surfaces and the forecast is one of scattered wintry showers and some sunshine. Most of the snow will be in the hills, but in some of the heaviest showers, we could see it at lower levels and it's going to be windy. This morning's newspaper, shall we? Starting with the mirror there. Leading on the news that we've mentioned here on the programme this morning, former pop star and convicted paedophile Gary Glitter has been recalled to prison following a breach of his licence conditions. Lots of the front pages this morning feature Gary Lineker, who's back on air, or will be at the weekend, following that row over his Twitter use. The Guardian reporting that the BBC has announced a review of its guidelines for social media use by staff and presenters. The Telegraph's main story is looking ahead to the budget. The paper reports that Chancellor Jeremy Hunt is preparing to raise the tax-free allowance for pensions as part of measures to dissuade people from taking early retirement. But front pages see what's dominating. Now, the new submarine corporation deal between Australia, the UK and America is leading in the Times, which says Rishi Sunak has done the deal to protect the world against emerging threats in the decade ahead. Metro says that despite the apparent resolution of the disagreement between Gary Lineker and the BBC, there are calls for the corporation's chairman, Richard Sharp, to resign. The eye has the headline, pressure grows on BBC bosses over Lineker climb down. And The Guardian too focuses on that angle of the story. Now, the Mail believes that Lineker escaping any form of punishment is an insult to licence payers. Oh, the Express goes one step further, suggesting the controversy could mean the end of the licence fee altogether. And here's the star's analysis of that story, 1-0 to the crisp salesman. <laughs> and the Telegraph looks ahead to the budget on Wednesday, suggesting that Je Chancellor Jeremy Hunt intends to raise the tax-free allowance for pensions by more than half a million pounds. And the Sun reports that a former pop star, Gary Glitter, has been put back in prison for breaching the conditions of his licence. And that is also the lead story in tomorrow's Daily Mirror. While the international edition of the Financial Times has more on the fallout from the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank. And if you want to see any of those front pages again or read those stories, just scan the QR code which is on your screen right now.